Hi, for today's guitar book review, that's an interesting one that I've I've just found in amongst all my my old guitar books. Uh, I don't remember having this one, so I don't know where it came from or when I got it. Uh, but a quick bit of background information on it. Um, when I was about 16, so this is about 1989, I did a, a course at Brighton University, which was a, um, a rock school, it was called rock school. And there's loads of things like that now, but then this was a completely new thing that was unheard of, that you could go and do a like, residential course learning about electric guitar and bass and drums and playing in bands and that kind of thing. And I did play in a band then, but um, but anyway, yeah, this was it was a brilliant week long course that I did. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do it was because there were three guitar teachers on it. One was a woman called Deirdre Cartwright, and she had presented a, a TV program called Rock School, which apparently was 1983 that was on. I, I'd have thought it was a bit later than that. But anyway, I remember watching it. And it was the same thing. It was uh, electric guitar, bass, drums. They might have involved keyboard a bit and vocals. I can't remember. But definitely those three. And they're good musicians talking about playing in bands, demonstrating techniques and demonstrating how to play in a band. Brilliant series. And anyone old enough will probably remember that. Uh, and she was one of the presenters on that. So she was teaching on this course that I did. And, and she was a great teacher, really good. And there were three guitar teachers on there and she really stood out to me as a young player. She, she just was a really good teacher. And this, this book I've just found was written by her. And it's to accompany the series, I think. Or it, actually, it was a few years later, I think it was 1987 it came out. And this one looks like it hasn't been read or hasn't been opened until I looked at it a minute ago. And there's a cassette with it. So, that's interesting, that shows its age. So some people won't know what that is, probably. But um, I haven't played that because I haven't got a tape deck anymore. But the book, uh, 1987, it's called Rock School, so it's, or Rock Guitar Method, but it says Rock School here. So it's in association with the TV programme. And according to the introduction, it was written along with a, a bass one and a drum one by the presenters on those instruments, presenters on this program. It was written uh, to fill in the gap where when they, they made the series, apparently they assumed a little bit of prior knowledge by the people watching. So they assumed you were already starting to play music and maybe were starting to play in bands and it was just giving you more information. I don't remember that being the case, but that's what it says in here. Uh, and so this is written more from a beginner's point of view and getting you up to reasonably high level just in a short book and it's it's really good it's it's different the way it's written is different to most of the other books like this I've looked at um, along with a lot of the other ones I've looked at I think this would actually suit rather than a complete beginner it would suit someone that's already started playing maybe you've been playing for six months or something and this will sort out any sort of bad or avoid any bad habits that haven't happened yet and uh, it will just fill in lots and lots of gaps tells you about reading music. There's a lot about rhythms in here. Uh, so it's sort of stressing the importance of, of understanding rhythm, which is often neglected as, as, by guitarists. Um, and yeah, it's got tab in there. Does, I don't think it actually explains tab. It's mostly dots that they're using, but it, it, it has got tab in here. So it's probably assuming that you can read tab. So that's where it's not quite for a complete beginner. Um, lots of photos in here, it's really well laid out and it's in units, I think there's about 20 units. And the idea is you you work through each unit in, in order and there's things on the tape, like backing tracks. These won't be computer generated things, these will be actual, I mean I haven't heard it, but they will be recordings of the band from the TV program, I would imagine. Playing the backing tracks for these tunes they wrote. Uh, which are going to help you with certain techniques and to, to learn certain things about music and playing in bands. So it's a, it's a good book. Um, this is one of the book reviews I'm doing where it's maybe a little bit um, irrelevant in a way because you probably can't get this anymore. Um, if you can, then it's not going to be coming with a cassette tape. Um, it probably wouldn't even come with a CD now. 
but uh, it's it's an interesting one. And, and I know Deirdre Cartwright's still about playing. I think she gigs still um, regularly. I think maybe in London, but I'm not, not too sure. I, don't, I haven't seen her since I did the course, uh, however many years ago that was, a long time ago. But I know that I've seen her name crop up and she's, she's still a gigging musician. Um, so yeah, if, if you do see a copy of this, I recommend it. It's a good one. Uh, but you might not be able to find one it might be some on ebay i haven't looked uh, so that's that's a good one a uh, bit different from some of the others only 56 pages long uh, but there's a lot in there okay so that's the rock guitar method by deirdre cartwright uh, and it's part of the rock school series and i'd imagine i haven't looked but i'd imagine the rock school series is probably on youtube now but i haven't looked anyway if you can get hold of a copy recommended